Here we are now in Excel and the first thing we're going to look at is the scenario manager. And what we have here is a table of sales for the month January, February, March and April, the selling costs and the growth profits. And we want to look at a number of scenarios. So the first thing we need to do is we need to turn on the scenario manager. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So to turn on the scenario manager, you go to file and you go to options. You then go to quick access toolbar because we're going to add it to the quick access toolbar. Under popular commands, we're going to change this to all commands. And if we click down in here and we put in scenario, put in S to bring us to the S's. And then we can go to scenario and add it in over here. Now, when we add it in, you will see a round circle being added to our quick access toolbar. So we'd select OK. And you'll see this has now been added to our quick access toolbar. So what we want to do is we want to set up a number of scenarios. Let's look at a scenario where the sales increase by 10% and the selling costs remain the same. And then let's have a look at another scenario where the sales increase by 10% and the selling costs also increase by 10%. So to get to the scenario manager, we go to the data ribbon, what if analysis scenario manager. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a scenario. So in this scenario, we're going to say 10% increase in sales only. Now, the next thing it's looking for is the changing cells. So we're going to select the sales and hit enter. And it's created by P on this date to show change of 10% in sales. And I'm going to hit OK. Now what it's looking for is when we make this change, what value do you want it to change it to? Well, 10%, so it will be 55. The next one will be 66. This will be 77. And this will be 88. And we can click OK. And if we say Show, you will see these cells here will change. Show. And all the formulas will also change. Now let's add another one. 10% increase in sales and selling costs. And our changing sales is going to be both sales and selling costs. And I'm going to hit OK. So the first one is going to be 55,000. We're going to leave that alone because it's already increased by the 40,000. This one is going to be 44. 66 will remain the same. The 50 will change to 55. The 77 will remain the same. The 60 will change to 66. The 88 will remain the same and the 70 will change to 77 and hit OK. Now, why haven't I changed all of them? Well, the sales values, we already applied that scenario and the sales values have already increased. So let's hit OK. And let's hit Show. And you'll see everything there has actually changed. Now, to run the scenario manager, if you press this button up here, a 10% increase in sales. Let's go back to our original figures. Actually, we should store our original figures as a scenario as well. So let's go back in here. Data, what if analysis, scenario manager, add sales, original data. And this is going to be 50,000. This is going to be 60,000, 70,000, and 80,000, and hit OK. So that's the original data and show. Now, if we go to our scenario manager, we can, by clicking on this button, very quickly change between the scenarios that we have saved in our workbook. We can also produce, if we go back into our What If Analysis Scenario Manager, we can also go into a summary report. And what it's saying is scenario summary or scenario pivot table report. Let's just do a summary report and hit OK. And what it's done is it's actually pulled you in a summary report. So it's showing you the cells that have changed. It's showing you the current value, the increased value, and the original data. So that's the scenario manager report. Now we're going to quickly have a look at Goal Seek. Can you remember that I said Goal Seek will allow you to change a cell to get a particular result that you want? 
So for this example, let's say we have sales of 100,000 and we want a 50% gross profit. So we want 50,000 in our sales, in our gross profit figure. And we want to do this by changing the cost of sales figure or by plugging in a cost of sales figure. Well, the keyboard shortcut for Gold Seek is Alt A W G, Gold Seek. And it's saying set sell. So, what sell is it that you want to set? Well, we want to set the gross profit. We want to set that to 50,000. And we want to change the sell cost of sales and we have nothing in there at the moment so it's zero so we want to change that sale so the gross profit sell becomes 50,000 now the gross profit sale that we want to come up with the value of already has the formula in it and you need to have the formula in the cell for gold seek to work now if we press ok it's doing a search it's found a value a target value and the current value select OK and it's automatically pulled in a gross profit, a cost of sales figure so your gross profit is equal to 50,000. So that's Goal Seek. Hi, my name is Paula and thanks for watching. Here at the Excel Club I offer online Excel and Power BI courses for all levels. We have free courses to get you started and premium courses on more advanced and specialised Excel and Power BI training. You can access these courses on the website and from our apps and there's links below the video so please do explore them. We also offer custom Power BI and Excel solutions so if you want to create custom financial models or a Power BI dashboard then I can help you. You can find contact details also on the website. If you haven't already, I hope that you'll take the time now to give this video the thumbs up, like and subscribe. Don't be shy. Feel free to comment below and say hi. See you next time. Bye now.